Hey guys, welcome to another day of Halloween. Today I'll be making something that's pretty perfect for a Halloween get together a dirt cake. My initial plan was to put this into a little baking dish and make a whole like graveyard scene, but you'll see, actually, you probably saw in the preview that my plans totally changed. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get started. I'll put the recipe that I used down in the description below. If you have your own favorite dirt cake recipe, you can totally use that instead, but this one is almost exactly like the kind I would have had growing up, so it's the one that I like to use. But before I made the cake, I made the decorations. I wanted to have a tombstone with a white skeleton hand poking up from the ground, so I melted some white candy melts and tried piping that onto some wax paper. But something was up with my candy melts. I think maybe they were expired? I threw away the bag so I'm not sure, but it was just not working for me. I scrapped that idea and decided to just use the normal chocolate that I was going to melt for the tombstones if there was any left over. So for those, a super easy way to do this is to take some Milano cookies and cut them in half. And then use melted chocolate to write RIP onto the stones. Since I was planning on making a whole graveyard, I made a bunch of these. With the leftover chocolate, I made a couple of skeleton hands. Well, I tried to anyway. I had a piece of paper underneath with a sketch of a skeleton hand that I was tracing over with the chocolate, but eventually I just started winging it. And I set those aside to harden while I made the dirt cake. As I mentioned earlier, I just used a standard recipe, which will be linked down below. The only difference is that I made my own whipped cream instead of using Cool Whip. I also have the recipe here, so if you're making some according to the directions in the recipe, just know that it's going to look like way more than I have, or like double the amount that I have here in the video. So first I mixed the cream cheese, butter, and powdered sugar in a bowl and I set that aside. In the big bowl I mixed the milk with the pudding mix. Make sure it's instant pudding, not the type that you have to cook. Once I mixed it, I left it to set up, and while that was happening, I made the whipped cream. For that I did half cup plus two tablespoons of heavy cream and one fourth cup of powdered sugar. Remember, I halved this, so if you were going to do the full recipe, double what I have here for the whipped cream. Anyway, I whipped that together and voila! By now the pudding was well set. So I folded the whipped cream in. I folded in the cream cheese butter mixture. I set that aside while I prepped the cookies. You want them to be crushed so they look like dirt, and the easiest way to do that is to use a food processor, but you could also just throw them in a bag and use a rolling pin to crush them. And now, the dessert is ready to be assembled. So I was going to do a graveyard, but I was eyeballing the skeleton hand glasses that I made in the last video, and I decided to make a personal sized dirt cake in those first. And with whatever was left over, I would make the graveyard. I had plenty of stuff. I'll totally have enough to fill these two brandy glasses and also another baking pan, I thought confidently. Anyway, I spooned in some of the cookie crumbs for the base. And using a piping bag, I piped the pudding mix in. You can totally just spoon this in, but I wanted it to be nice and neat, so piping bag it was. Then I did another layer of crumbs. then pudding, crumbs, 
putting, repeating until they got to the top. And I filled these things to the brim. And wouldn't you know it, after filling up both of these things, I barely had enough crumbs or pudding left over to do the graveyard. These dang glasses hold a deceivingly large amount. So this turned into just these two personal sized dirt cakes. So now to decorate. I had a little bit of a light colored luster dust, so I decided to brush that onto the two hands that I decided to use. I was trying to get them as skeleton looking as I could. Anyway, I picked the two best tombstones and I put them in place, one for each dirt cake. Then I added the skeleton hand poking up and there we go, all done. I think these turned out pretty cute and actually as nice as the whole graveyard would look, it's kind of nice to have your own personal dirt cake. The brandy glass size is a little bit excessive though. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all of that good stuff. What kind of decor would you add to a spooky dirt cake? Growing up, we always put like gummy worms in the inner layers so that when you dug into it, you would dig up worms. I'm sure there's probably like candy eyeballs or something. I actually meant to do like cobwebs on the tombstones, but since my white candy melts kind of didn't work, I scrapped that idea. I'm sad though, I think it could have looked pretty cool. But anyways, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!